What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, I wanted to talk to you about two acts um, and compare the information inside those two acts just so that you know what's out there. And then I'll also give you my opinion on what I believe will be the outcome of these acts and which one I think is better. So make sure you hit the like button on this video. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And remember that I do a giveaway every week. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to hear all about that. Now, first, I'm gonna break down these two acts just to give you the information behind it. Now, the first act is the Emergency Money for the People Act, which is $2,000 per month for six months, which can be extended to 12 months. Um, and the $2,000 per month would go to anybody over the age of 16 that makes less than $130,000 a year, married couples, um, $260 thousand dollars per year if you're under the age of 16 you're going to get five hundred dollars for that dependent so if you're an adult and you have a child that you're claiming under the age of 16 you're gonna get five hundred dollars if you have three you're gonna get fifteen hundred dollars if you have a fourth one it's capped at three so you're still only gonna get fifteen hundred dollars now that's the gist of what that emergency money for the people act actually is um, and now let's get into the abc act which would be two thousand dollars of a starting payment that you would get and then also a thousand dollars every single month after that now this goes to every person so if you're a dependent if you're an adult if you're um, a taxpayer if you're a non-filer if you're on social security you know basically everybody is going to qualify for this money you know this is kind of interesting that it would go to everybody because what threw me off was the fact that it would go to non-citizens and what threw a lot of people off in the comments was that it would go to non-citizens and that's what people really thought about they were like oh well you know what you know they don't deserve it i think that anybody that's struggling in this country right now really deserves it because it's a really tough situation to go through um but this the abc act does not have a uh, ceiling on income if you make 50 billion dollars you're still going to get two thousand dollars and a thousand dollars per month that's just how it works um so a lot of people were weary of that as well so now let's actually get into what i believe that these two will be because what matters is what the end goal what the outcome will be of the two acts which one will get passed and give us the most benefit um, so let's start with the Emergency Money for the People Act. I talked about this in a prior video um, to where I said that each adult would get $1,000 per month and anybody under the age of 16 would get $250 per month. So it would be a total of $1,250, close to what the stimulus checks actually were, the last stimulus checks. But this, in this case, it's going to be every single month. If not, it's probably going to be $1,200 and then $500 for a dependent, just like how the original stimulus checks checks were built. Um, and that's what I'm thinking. It's going to be close to that if this gets passed. Now, is that a good thing? I think it is because $1,200 will help a lot of people in one uh, month, but it won't do everything. So to be able to get that in multiple months and cover a lot of bills would be really great. But now let's get into the ABC Act. When I look at this, I'm thinking that it might still be close to the same in dollar value. So um, $2,000 for the initial payment, $1,000 for every month after that. I don't think it will go the full year. I think they might do a six month period after the crisis is over. So that might be what I'm looking at. But when it comes to the people that are eligible, they're going to start to um, chip away at that. Uh, the fact that non-citizens get it, I feel like they're going to chip away at that. The fact that it does not have an income ceiling, I feel like they're going to chip away at that. I feel like they're going to dwindle this down to something that it's really not. Now, I do still think that that will be beneficial to a lot of people that are citizens, that are taxpayers, that are dependents. You know, all of the categories that we've seen in the first stimulus check, plus a little bit more, obviously including college students in there, um, not just having that gap between 16 and 18. You know, those college students and high school students also deserve something. I don't know if they deserve that much, but they deserve something. So in the, in the end of things, I think that the ABC Act probably will be a little bit better just because you're getting that $2,000 upfront per person, not worrying about an age factor really, and then you have the $1,000. Now, I don't know what the um, income ceiling is going to be, and I really don't know what they're going to change in 
this whole bill, but I feel like that is a better option to take $2,000 and $1,000 per month um, because what I feel like the Emergency Money for the People Act is going to be, it's going to drop down um, to that $1,000 mark and then you'll get $250 for um, a dependent, which really won't be enough compared to how much you're getting in the, um, the ABC Act. So let's say you have an, an adult and a child, and if you get $1,250 in the Emergency Care Act because that's what it drops down to, or you get $2,000 because you're getting $1,000 for the adult, $1,000 for the dependent. Now, the big problem is how we're going to pay for all of this stuff. So that's what a lot of people are asking is how are we physically going to pay for this stuff? Well, if you don't know, um, a lot of businesses are closed and a lot of businesses are still functioning. So if businesses are still functioning and they're not getting the amount of people in the door because people don't want to go out and spend money because they don't have the money, then those businesses that are open are going to close. Businesses that are closed are probably going to close as well. The only thing we're going to have alive is probably big corporations. Um, and that's just how life is going to go. Then we really have to work our way up, which means, you know, higher taxes because we don't have enough businesses out here, um, which means more money out of your pocket once you do finally find a job. 26 million, or I guess it's closer to 30 million Americans um, now on unemployment. And I understand why, because unemployment um, with the new benefits is like increased. But it's going to be a horrible situation if we don't pass one of these. We don't pass anything to give money to people. And I said from the beginning when I was following Andrew Yang is that Andrew Yang was right, giving $1,000 a month to every single American. If we would have done that from the start, we could have avoided this crisis right now. So the whole crisis right now, if we would have found a way to pay for that, we could have avoided this whole crisis. And I'm not saying like avoided the sickness because the sickness is going to happen, but the amount of people getting in debt, the amount of people going on unemployment, the amount of people that are just suffering right now. So that's my opinion on these two. I feel like the ABC Act would be a better option for so many Americans, and that's just the way I feel. So um, let me know how you feel, if you feel the ABC Act will be a good option for Americans, or if you think that you know even free mortgage, because I compared the Emergency Money for the People Act to free mortgage and how free mortgage and rent, and how free mortgage and rent would actually benefit the rich, because if somebody has a 50,000 a year mortgage or um, 50,000 month mortgage or 50,000 month rental property, then they're going to benefit so much more than the person that has a $600 property. So let me know your thoughts on every proposal that's out there. It's not just these proposals. I feel like there's going to be more talks, more things that are going out there. I just feel like there's going to be a lot of discussion here because we're going to be in lockdown for quite a bit of time. Um, and I, I physically don't know what's going on. Erica and I were just talking about on the podcast about PA uh, attempting to open or having their, their schedule set uh, green, red, yellow or something like that, saying that um, in this case, we will open the country completely. In this case, we'll, we'll start to you know, move into opening the country by you know, a couple of stores. And in this case, we'll only open like daycares and things like that. So I'm really interested in what you guys think. So make sure you comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this whole situation because it's something that's, that's huge right now. Um, talking about investing would not be good enough. Talking about personal finance, which technically I am, just wouldn't really be good enough. And talking about credit cards, people shouldn't be worried about credit cards right now, especially if so many people are using credit cards. I had a couple of comments recently saying, I use my credit cards and now all of my credit cards are maxed out. And I feel so sorry for any person that is forced to use credit cards in this situation. And I hope that you kind of get bailed out a little bit with these uh, proposals, with these acts. Um, but you never know. I mean, they bailed out the banks um, at a drop of the dime, um, but they didn't bail out anybody else. I guess they just don't care about people. I don't know. Let's, let's, see, let's see what actually happens. But that's my video, guys. Make sure you hit the like button on this video. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And I do a giveaway every single week. So all you have to do in order to enter that giveaway is comment on this video, like this video, and be subscribed to both of my YouTube channels. This one and the Perry Experience channel, and you'll get one ticket in the hat. But that's my video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time.
I'll see you guys later.